it right here. I'm going to just come out however the fight decides itself. I just go in there, I see what I see, and I do what I do. And, uh, I know that if he starts off slow and he gives me a shot, I'm going to take it. I mean, it's simple as that. You know, I don't really have expectations because we all know when you get in the ring, you see the positioning, it may change, but I'm going to go in there uh, just being me and we'll see what happens. Hey, this this saying uh, holds true. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. So uh, that's the one thing that you could always get somebody by telling them the truth. And, uh, you know, they decided to take a different route today, but uh, I overcame it with truth. And that's what I'm always going to do. Right. Talking about the truth, could you speak please to Oscar's words in terms of their belief in their fighter, specifically all of these conditions and clauses. You got the weight limit, you've got the rehydration clause. Speak to their confidence as a team in, in their fighter. Well, think about it. They didn't put a rehydration clause on Mario Barros, which Gervonta claimed you're not even as big as Gervonta Davis. So what does that show you? That's just the truth. Now we're speaking truth. Then he, he says, oh, we got to do this at 136. He never claimed, oh, I only want to fight at 135. He never told me that. He was trying to drain me, obviously. And then at the last second, he puts a rehydration clause on me. And then now he's paying people to spy on me? I mean, think about this. Is that not showing you that he's not as confident? Anybody can read between the lines. They can spin it however they want. They say it's A-side uh, tendencies. I say it's arrogance. And uh, doesn't have a strong character. That's it. I mean, point blank period, I don't care who they send to the ring. I told him, you want to come watch me train tonight? And that's truthfully, come watch me train. It's not going to stop what's going to happen in that ring. Um, it's just funny that they think all these little attempts are going to work. It's really it's really funny to me. Uh, but I walk in truth. I'm not I'm not afraid, man. Uh, it's just it's just their attempts to try to stop what's going to happen. Cynthia, Cynthia? Ryan, you both kept your temperaments nicely and you both vowed to uh, break each other's jaw. When you initially said that, what was your initial thought? I was already thinking that. I, I already thought. It's, well, I'm, in, I'm trying to shoot too, so put your camera up higher than sir. Love is in the air, brother. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, for sure, um, you know what, it's just, it's just something I felt, you know, I always felt, I feel like I'm going to break his jaw. I think that it's going to be very devastating for him. I feel like truly he's asleep, and I think he's a good kid, but he hasn't woken up yet. And sometimes something really bad needs to happen to you for you to wake up, and this is this is the really bad thing and it's gonna be really bad he's gonna fall face first with a broken jaw with nothing to say after all he's gonna have is thoughts in his brain to think about all the things he's ever done Seriously. boxing social right there the back Ryan, can you tell us what happened on stage I think he got some money out what was that um, what was that all about on stage he um he does what he does best man <laughs> Live in delusion, and if you're living delusion, you're losing. If he thinks that this is what the fight's about, money, he's living the wrong life. You think the arena? This, this money, these cameras, the people cheering—they all fade away one day, and all you're left with is your character and honor and how you lived your life. So he'll find out real soon. He'll be awakened one day, but it's probably gonna be Saturday night, like I've been saying. He's worshiping money on the stage, he's throwing it. He acts like I have not seen this before. I've seen this already. This is nothing. Unless he's humble in his heart, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I'll be ready to do my job. I prepared well. Didn't take him for granted. I know he's a great fighter. I know he has a lot of talent. But I got something deeper than that. And I do have talent as well. So, he'll see that. He's afraid of something. It's this slingshot, man. He's scared. He's scared. As long as he didn't take that out of the contract, I'm good. <laughs> Two quick things. Now, Tech said you got to stop inspiring. That's the first thing. And second, he said, Tech said he's been studying Floyd before you all can. Yes. Is there anybody that you've been studying or watching for the time? Uh, I mean, bits and pieces, you know, I like Roy Jones Jr., I like Muhammad Ali, I like, 
Floyd as well, you know. So those are like the three guys I like to fight. You know, not fight like, but like to get bits and pieces, which is interesting that Javante kind of does the same thing. So I saw I saw that as pretty interesting. And about, you know, him saying that, oh, you got knocked out of sparring. Brother, if I got knocked out, then it should be an easy night for you, right? If I got knocked out by a sparring partner, like I said, he's delusional. But one thing I do know is he did get knocked out by somebody in Floyd's gym. Everyone knows it. Last Every part. single person knows. Everybody over here has heard that story. And I and I don't want to hear no lies. You guys all know he got knocked out cold by some Russian. I don't know if he was a Russian fighter. Somebody knocked him out cold. But guess what? That doesn't matter. It's sparring. <laughs> what did Floyd say? I got my ass kicked many times in the gym. All that matters is Saturday night. That's where it counts. Ryan, Last Ryan, question. Ryan, Ryan, right here. How prepared are you for... Uh, we saw him at the other press conference you know, kind of touch you on the chin. Uh, how kind would you be to any physical altercation with Tank Davis tomorrow right away? My first instinct is, is all hell's going to break loose? My second instinct is, just stay calm and let him do what he does. I think I'm going to just let him do him. I'm going to prepare for battle, that's it. I'm going to clear the noise. If he wants to swing, let him swing. I'll prepare to knock him out come Saturday night. If he wants to hit me, let it be. Ryan, let it be. Uh, I'm not in walking fear. Do you think you're going to have a big crowd on your side on, on Saturday night? I don't know. I have no clue. I know that there's uh, it's a lot of fans for both of us. You know, I think it might, it might be 50-50, but... Again, I don't know. All I know is uh, I'll be happy either way, man. Ryan, what's okay, the thank you. Guys, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, guys. He, when I was in front of him, trust me, my confidence went like this. Ryan, what's his biggest weakness? Looks like he's too small to compete, Ryan.